Chin Chin, hello. Mm. I freaking love a fizzy limto, I really do. Mm. No sugar, obviously, no sugar. Because I can't handle sugar. So, what you doing? Really? How oh, very exciting. Um, I've bought some things, obviously, because that's what I do. Would you like to see what they are? Of course you would. Good kittens. So, where did I buy this stuff from? Car boot, charity shops, the world in general. So, shall we start with what I've bought just now? I've just come home. I wasn't going to go shopping. I was going to just do fuck all today. And then I ended up going to post office and, you know, as you do. But anyway, I went in charity shops. So, I bought a vintage... 70s I think wool uh, kind of military green skirt suit perfect for wartime recreation type people so I spent 5 99 on that and I'm going to ask for £30 um, from 50p type Emmaus charity shop thing I bought sun and moon candle stick thingamabobs um this is, so Laura Stubbs is her fault because she likes the sun and moon stuff. So I literally picked them up just because of her. So they were 50 pence. So I'm going to try and get a tenner for them. Hey, How have you all been anyway? It seems like ages since we last went out and got drunk together and, you know, and all those, yes. Mm. I've got a massive headache, by the way. And I will probably show you. I can show you why I've got a headache, okay? I'll show you why I've got a headache. Because in a charity shop, I bought this ring, right? Now, that looks pretty mank, doesn't it? Like, the enamel or nail varnish, I think, maybe, is coming off this ring. And I paid a pound for that. And you think, why Why pay a pound? And I paid a pound because it's stamped 95 on the bottom. You're not going to be able to see that. You're not going to be able to see it. But um, it's a pretty hideous ring. And I've been trying to get whatever that purple stuff is off because some of it is chipped. Now, it's, I don't think it's enamel because it's matte. I think it's just some kind of cheap paint. So I stuck it in a bath of methylated spirits, hoping that that might do something. And instead of it taking the paint off, it's just giving me a huge headache, like big hangover. So that's not fun. But anyway, it's five, that's five grams of uh, 95 solid silver. So that might just go in my scraps bag um, and I'll cash that in one day. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, I got... Hang on. Right. I got this little pendant watch from Atlas. And the reason... And this was a pound. And the reason I picked it up is because it says 17 jewels on it. And I think 17 jewels is like a good thing because whenever I've sold anything that's been 17 jewels, it's got a decent amount of money for it. So I looked it up and I can't really find anything um, that's like this one. So I'm just going to start it at a 9.99 auction and see what it does. I don't know. That's kind of half the fun sometimes, isn't it? It's just finding out things. Right. Um, for £1.50, I bought some Build-A-Bear roller skates, which is probably, I paid too much for these. And um, whilst I was uh, inspecting them, I was like, ooh, they haven't had a lot of wear, have they? That, that's good. They, you know, they look like they've barely been used. Of course, they're for freaking teddy bears. And teddy bears only come alive at night and skate around on, you know, on the carpets and stuff. So they're not going to be that well used because they don't really go outside true story I like how they're adjustable as in the bear's feet will grow strange I'm wondering whether they will fit on the cats but I think the cats will hate me forever if I tried that one so um I'll try and sell them for like six or seven pounds or something or I've got a how to train your dragon build a bear toothless which is like the most adorable freaking thing and I might put roller boots on him possibly We'll see anyway, we'll see how I feel. Okay, I bought 
A Yorkshire, Yorkshire tree, 50p. For no real reason other than it's just got Yorkshire on it. And it was 50p. It's tatty as anything, I'm not gonna sell it. This'll be like um, a tray for the garden for when we just have some drinks in the garden. Cause you know, you need a garden tray with Yorkshire on it. I don't know. Um, oh, from uh, from the car boot sale. Now it's not like I'm obsessed with bag puss. I, this is only like the second bag puss thing that I've ever owned. But isn't he lovely? He was three pound off one lady, which was probably too much to spend. But um, I just loved him. And he's got a hole in his bum, look. I don't know why. And I kind of, I, I, I never ever want to find out why he's got a hole in his bum, but he's in a better place now. You're okay, bad puss. You're staying here. He's not for sale. He's staying with me. He is going to get put through the washing machine though, which is one of my nightmares. I have nightmares about putting cats through washing machines. Do you not have that? Like that, I, like the, the idea of it makes me feel really sick. And in microwaves. Oh no, I can't even. Never put your cat in a microwave, okay? Please. Public information. Okay, so, uh, Cancer Research, we're again having a half price sale today, as they do when it's hot and no one is shopping. So I should just remember that and never buy anything when it's full price and just go back when it's hot. Anyway, this was £3 reduced to £1.50. Oh, I just um, sorry, I thought you weren't recording then. I thought, oh my god, if I just said all that and not bloody recorded anything, I would look like a right frickin' idiot, wouldn't I? Again. Anyways, so that was £1.50. It's nautical. I just thought it was fun. So I looked to get a tenner on that. Who can say? Um, I bought this from Eon Plus. Size 30 to 32, made in India. Because, you know, fat people deserve nice clothes too. And, and uh, like, what do they call the every, everyone's saying? Buy chambray, buy chambray. Who's chambray? Anyway, so I got one of them. I thought the sleeves were quite nice on it, and it's a bit larg and look. Good um, But yeah, that was 4 99 and I'm gonna try that off. Started at fourteen ninety nine as an auction, so I'm gonna do like I'm trying to do like five auction things starting every day. So that's Karen No Crafts. She's the one that's been doing that, and I thought I'll give that a go as well. And it's kind of working because I had four sales yesterday that I wouldn't have um, normally had. So that's cool. So I had a decent day yesterday. One hundred and forty pound. Mm. Mm. Means I can bathe in Vimto tonight. And then I got this dress for £2.45. This is a Polly Peck by Sybil Zelka. 100% cotton velvet, red velvet dress. Now that's fab colour, isn't it? That is proper, proper lush red. Absolutely gorgeous. Really good condition. So, I don't know, 2025 on that one? It is very cool. Right, back to the car boots. Oh no, there's another 50p thing. Sorry, there's another 50p thing. I bought an Olympus Zoom 600 Cambra. It's got all its gubbins in there and it's original receipt for £95. And little case. And there's a battery in there as well. So I'm gonna give that a try in a bit. That was 50p. Um, some people have managed to get about 12 pound for it. So I'm gonna stick 15 on it because it's case and box and instructions and everything. So let's give it a go. Cause you never know. That's the show. Yo, yiggity, yo. Sapna bra. Um, also today I bought some these Ikea things, it was £1.50. They're probably only £1.50 from Ikea in the beginning. That does annoy me in charity shops sometimes. But anyway, these are useful things because I keep lots of jewellery so um, I can keep them in there because that's what storage is used for. Storing things. Um, oh, 
you know how I love my French glass. Are we, are we going again? Stay still! Silly thing. Oh, bag pussy looks so sad. It's all right. Poor thing. Okay, so I love my French glass here. Yeah? So this is the ultimate in French glass. So I got a vintage bottle, complete with dust. And I don't know if you can see at the bottom there, but there is also a dead cricket. Kind of freaks me out a little bit. I'm going to have to get rid of that at some point. But on it is a label for Odorol Heliotrope J. Mero Boyview Bernard and Honorat Grasse France. Ah, uh, but that was 2 .99. It was in a box of stuff that they were just, um, it had just been brought in and I kind of went yoink. I love that. Thanks for how much. And she was like, oh, well, we don't get many of these and they're very rare. It's like, yes. How much is it, please? Two ninety nine. Good. Thank you very much. I'll have that. Thank you. So, happy with that, but I will have to dispose of dead cricket. Maybe I'll give it to the cats and they can have it for their tea. Um, oh, and with it, I also bought this bangle for 20p. It's three different shades of wood, or rather wood and then resin and resin, possibly. Yeah, I think resin. But still, that's quite nice. I might look to get a tenner on that. That's quite cool. Um, and then I bought this one for £2. And I think I've already stuck that on eBay for 12 quid Because uh, I think that one is rather spangly and delicious. That's quite cool. And then other things. My very well-trained mother went to Puthcore. And she bought me a bag of broken jewellery. But it wasn't actually broken. I think it was just stuff that they couldn't be bothered to put out. Which is great. So I've job, I'm going to put a job lot of the crap stuff. But that I'm going to put as a little lot together. And maybe save it until I get some more bangles. I sold a bunch of bangles like this for like £10. That's mad considering what they're like. You know, you get these for like 5 p each. But there we are. And then, so the whole lot cost £3, so I've already, again, stuck these on eBay, if I can get them out. These earrings, which I've described as brutalist, because that's one of my favourite keywords at the moment, is brutalist. Brutalist or 70s kitsch, but I don't think these really count as 70s kitsch. But um, I stuck them on for like £6. And then, is this necklace like marble effect necklace I think I've stuck that one on for eight pounds we'll see how that goes and then the cream of the crop is this one like little sort of silver pewter with a little dove on it and this is by Danon and I stuck it on an auction for 14.99 and started that yesterday and it's already got bids on it so I'm quite happy with that so well done well trained mummy she is good sometimes. Um, okay, what else was there? Just car boot then. Okay, so bad puss came from the car boot. I took £30 out with me and I came back with 20 It wasn't a very good one. No, I came back. I took 33 out of me and I came back with 20 So, um, bag puss... I bought from a lady that I originally only wanted one thing, which was a Welsh tapestry coat, uh, sorry, waistcoat, which isn't here, it's in the shop, and I've already photographed it and put it online, it's got two watches, um, and it's green and orange, and it's superbly 60s and wonderful. Heather, you would absolutely love it, um, although you would love my other one as well that I bought the other day, which is bright orange and it's lush, mm. and again, I haven't remembered to show you this stuff, so I'm really sorry. No, I'm not sorry. Go away. Um, yeah, so she had that for £3. And I was like, oh, I've only got £10 out of you got changed. She's like, no, sorry. I was like, okay, I'll have to spend £10 with you then. And she had a selection of nice stuff. So I'm sure, I was like, I'm sure I can find £10 worth of stuff. So I picked out a bunch of things that I wanted. So like bag purse and a bunch of other things. And, um, and I was like, well, well, you know, would that be okay? As in like, take out what you think you know, 
Like, you tell me what you think is £10 worth. So she let me have um, the Welsh Tapestry, Bag Puss, this little kind of naff made in Japan jewellery box, but they, they kind of go and the cameo is actually quite nice on it, so I think I put that on for £12. Uh, this little Damascene, um, by Damascene it's like the black and gold, so it's probably made in Spain. Art Deco uh, little bracelet, which is really sweet. I think I've stuck that on for about a tenner, I think. And then this one, like a slave. I hate the term slave bracelet, though. It doesn't seem right, but apparently they're called slave bracelets. So typical American eagle and uh, feathers. And this is by EJC, made in 1995. And... I think I've stuck this one on for 15, 15 or 20 perhaps. And it's got a few watches on it already. So I'm sure that'll go for the summer. It's kind of cool. Again, silver pewter. Um, oh, and I also bought from her, uh, as part of the £10, a snake bracelet as well. Like a wraparound bracelet, green with like jewels on it. And I listed that Sunday afternoon and it sold within the hour. And it's weird because I didn't underprice it or anything. It's not like it was some kind of rare type of bracelet. I think I just listed it at the right time and someone was looking at the right time. They paid a tenner including postage, so I got £9 roughly for that one um, before costs. So that pretty much pays for what I bought for from her, which is cool. And then my other purchase, which was a £3 purchase um, from this old dude, is I bought a Sanyo... It's that MG, MG4 personal stereo and it's got inbuilt speakers and I think it's, you, can, you can use it as a dictaphone as well but I haven't tested that yet. With it came a case of cassettes with all your favourites in there such as Wet 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 and Kenny G and Jean-Michel Jarre and Diana Ross. And Elton John. So there are some classics in there. I've just stuck that as a lot on eBay as an auction starting 3 99 I think. And if it doesn't sell, I might just donate to Charity Shop. Um, but there was another cassette in there, which is quite possibly the greatest thing ever. Now, I don't want to show it to you just yet. I'm just going to play a little bit in this. Um, if YouTube are listening... Fair usage, I am allowed to play some of this, even though it's a very well-known track, I am allowed to play some of it, because this is educational, okay? How awesome is that? I won't play too much, because, you know, YouTube will tell me off. Um, but this is Jeff Love and his disco orchestra. So they do disco covers of theme tunes from sci-fi films. So this was made in 1978, before Star Wars was, was really, really, really big. So obviously the, the big seller for this one was Close Encounters. And Star Wars is just sort of mentioned there. And it's like on side B. Whereas that should be like the first thing on it. It would be nowadays, wouldn't it? But it's cool, it's got a nice like paper case over. Uh, so again, I've stuck this on eBay for a tenner and it's got a couple of watches on it already. So maybe there's a bit of a cult following behind that. I do not know. But all I know is that uh, it's kind of fantastic. Um, the Sanyo, um, I've looked it up and I can't find any that have sold on eBay recently. I've even looked on Worth Point and someone in Australia tried to sell one for 100 US dollars. And, sorry, not US, Australian dollars, um, but it didn't sell, and then and that was it, that's all I could find. So I've started off at 29 99 it's got a case of it as well, um, 29 99 auction, I think there's three watches on it so far, so we shall see how that goes, we shall see if I make my millions. Uh, shall I play you? Oh. No, I keep forgetting that it's a cassette 
and to play the first track on the other side I've got to turn it over and then rewind all oh my word how did we survive back in the 80s and 90s eh without skipping things and buttons um right yes I think I think that is it I think that's everything um I am going to get annoyed with my hair and now I'm going to meet up with my friend Claire who we're gonna uh have coffee and we're gonna um I don't know sit outside and smoke probably hooray those are your jazz hands I shall see you next time uh, bye bye now bye bye